YouTube channel. Um, today in this video I will talk about 10 ways to build your entrepreneur confidence. For First of all, for everyone here is new in my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Eva Menelovic. I'm a coach, marketer specialist, and I love to talk about the themes, of course, lifestyle too. So basically, self-confidence. What is self-confidence? So self-confidence is the backbone of our resilient mindsets is essential for each entrepreneur from each person that is building a business or or any type so entrepreneur will not go far away without confidence basically confidence is the base for our success self-confidence is not something that you know that you're born with it and is it's very complicated, right? It's something that you build over time, especially when you are a business leader or or when you are building a, a career or a new business. But I will give it to you now, 10 ways for you can really have this confidence and you can take off your business. So, number one is to take risk and learn from your failures. Basically, one of the best way to build your confidence is to take risk. It doesn't mean like to begin reckless or it doesn't mean to push yourself outside or it doesn't mean like failure is something bad. Basically failure is something that we will, it's it's part of our, our, our develop as entrepreneurs. So we must ensure that the failures, uh, we learn from our mistakes in turn to develop ourselves. So don't worry, you are a step closer to your success. Number two, keep the stress under control. This part it's very difficult because this is the part that everyone is stressed when you start to build a career or you start to uh, have a new item or a new businesses. But we need to have under control. We need to find a way to basically to uh, to learn how to 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 keep the balance in our stress. Sometimes when people become stressed, don't think don't act it good and this is not and not thinking clearly basically this is the most important and this is not good so we must know that uh, that that the decision we will make it has to be with calm mind without stress and try to control remember control the stress is very important for your success Number three, surround yourself with supported people. Basically, one of the best ways to build your confidence is to get involved in entrepreneur groups or community. You have to be part of them because they will give it to you the best advice, the best basically support and always they will be uh, there for you. So also you can attend to events just to, to listen and to learn those great people. Number four, recognize your unique talents and abilities. Well, this is very good because it's one of the best ways to figure out who you are, who you really are, and what you are capable to do the things. Sometimes uh, we don't know each other, we don't know us very good, and this is something that is not good because we never, we will never know uh, what we are made of, right? So um, it's very important that you know which talents do you have to develop your business or develop your career or develop whatever you are doing right now. So if you're doing this is for your own uh, or, or, or something, just check that also the abilities it's that you have it's amazing so no matter which choices we will make no matter who you interact with we have to have and learn to have your abilities into your own talents it, it will give it to you the ability to continue growing in your business number five hire people with the skills you don't have i know sometimes we are kind of ashamed to hire people that we believe that because we hire people uh we are ashamed or we feel like uh we don't i don't know we don't deserve it to someone be with us but you know you're wrong basically this proud that we have as entrepreneur is not good every business owner you know has different strengths and, and weakness and Sometimes um, they hire very, very strong people and focuses in your weakness to make it stronger, focuses in the things that you're missing to make you a good advice. So don't forget because uh, when you ask him helps for, uh, to someone, it's, it's important, believe me, you will, you will feel better and you will continue to step forward to your success. Number six, be emotional resilient. What does that mean, be emotional resilient? 
So basically, begin emotionally, it's, it's begin to able to bounce back from all these uh, failures. It's very important that your mind, you keep going cold and don't take care of too much inside of your heart when someone critique you, when someone comment you bad or when someone tell you that you are not good enough. Believe me, as an entrepreneur, as a marketer, I tell you, don't worry for these things because it's not to make you feel good and it's not make you going nowhere. You must just don't listen to people, don't take care about these comments. As a good people, it will be always people that take care of you, people that love you, people that support you, people that will be there for you. Each time that you create something or you develop something, they will be there for you. But also it will be the people that don't like you, the people that just uh, it's a negative, you know, about your work, about what you're doing, uh, people jealous, people that don't want your success, and these people you shouldn't, you shouldn't listen at all, and you shouldn't take care of yourself, important in your head, in your heart, and in your mind, it's very important. So, you need to uh, build a resistance for this type of emotionally situation because he will not give it to you and he will not give it will not send you nowhere so don't worry be resistant about emotional comments from the people they don't like you number seven expand your knowledge and scope of your work another way to build your entrepreneurial confidence is to read books and articles about the things that you're doing and you develop yourself what does that mean too much entrepreneurs or too much people owners or too much um uh, let's see um people they start to build something to forget the key about the success is to read books to read information to have knowledge yourself this basically will help you to learn new concepts and it will give it to you different perspective about what you're doing or, or what is or what is the thing that is better from you. You can also listen to podcasts, they are very good and you will find a lot, a lot, a lot of differences podcasts. Watch videos uh, in YouTube right now. You have an amazing entrepreneur that can give it to you. Uh, this uh, a good advice to just listen to them. Influencers about subjects or owners or people that, that you think it will be expand your knowledge and your confidence. Number eight, build a spiritual practice. Well, this is something that I will don't go dig too much far because this is not my purpose to tell you who you need to listen. But whatever you believe or whatever you, you think, um, building a spiritual practice, it will help you basically to connect with something or with, or, or larger than yourself and give it to you this sense of peace and calm. So as I said, no matter which religion, um, where you come from or what you is your beliefs, this will give it to you the peace and because you start something new, believe me, we need this for being in our peace ourselves and the most important is that it will help you to center yourself and find strengths and, and times and, and it will give it to you the tool for don't feel this stress in your life. Number nine, find a mentor. So one of the best things that you can do to build your entrepreneur confidence is to find a mentor. Mentor will give it to you basically the guide, the support that you need from the long way. It doesn't mean that you should keep it forever, but you should search someone to be behind you. Me, as a coach, as a marketer, I tell you, please find someone. Find someone to always be for you, for your, for your business, for you. If you have any questions or, or ideas, he can help you with that. So also you can search in my website evamandelovic.com if you need something help or any question that you have you can consult me. It's free and I can be I can give it to you the best advice that you need. And final but not the end, the number 10. Celebrate your success. Okay, this is something that I want to tell you very very important. I cannot tell you that you need to just celebrate when you have one million dollars or when you are a success person or when you finish to finish your career or when you have already done uh, I don't know your business or when you have for example <clears throat> you build your career and then you start to have a, a, a official a store for for selling your products no celebrate your success basically is 
Celebrate smiles, wins, give it to you, significant pause for your confidence. Listen, as an entrepreneur, uh, you are yourself like the biggest, the biggest cheerleader. And sometimes when, it's just an example, if you're reading a book and you finish in two days, you need to celebrate those because it's achieved. It's a, it's a, 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 a meta for your goal, right? So it doesn't matter if it's, uh, a small success or big success, you need to celebrate it. So, you 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 will want to, to probably sometimes we say, no, I, I will not celebrate to finish a book. I will not celebrate to finish, I don't know, my career. You should, because it will give it to you the, 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 um, the energy, the positivity, the confidence, and the most important, you will celebrate each milestone for your own business. So this is my 10 ways to build your entrepreneurial confidence. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I have also Instagram and Facebook for if you want to follow me. And see you soon into my next video. Take care of you with all my heart, saying you big kisses. And if you have any questions or any, any requirements, you can write me in my email. Hello, it's shooter.evamandelovich.com. Have a good day and see you soon.